Hi everyone, I'm Javi and in this video I will show you how to attach different objects to your character devices just so you can make cinematics like this one. It's really easy to do so without further ado let me show you how to do it. So over here I have this level sequence using a Mixamo animation. I use this sword and shield casting animation. If you want to learn how to use Mixamo animations with your character devices, then you can check my other tutorial in this channel. So over here we have this character, but now what we need is to attach a sword and a shield. So I'm going to go back here to the content browser. Let's go to Fortnite. Let's look for sword. Uh, I'm going to select this one, the Coliseum sword. Let's put it around here. And now let's look for a shield. And I'm going to be using this, the Coliseum shield. I'm going to make this shield a little bit smaller. I think it looks more appropriate for our character. So now let's go back to sequencer. And over here in this level sequence, I'm going to select the sword and the shield. And we're going to drag and drop it inside of the level sequence. So now what I want is to attach the sword to the right hand of our character and the shield to the forearm of our character. So let's start with the sword. So over here where it says Coliseum sword, let's click on track or the plus icon. Let's go to attach new binding and let's look for our character device. In our case is the character device too. So let's go to character here where it says character device too. And now let's click here where we see the skeleton. Now select Skeletal Mesh Component 0. And here we're going to choose to which bone we want to attach the sword. So in our case would be the right hand. So let's click on right hand. It will create this new track over here. So let's just make this longer so it occupies the entire level sequence. But now it looks like the sword disappeared. But it didn't disappear, it just went really, really far. So here where it says Coliseum Sword, we're going to click. And over here where it says Location, we're going to reset the location, clicking this arrow right here. And now the sword will be here in the right hand. But it looks um, very misplaced. Let's click over here again on Coliseum Sword. Click Track and add the Transform property. And now let's move the sword around. You can move it around until it is exactly where you want the sword to be. So I think there the sword looks good. Just for good measure, I like to click here, add a keyframe, just so the position of the sword gets saved and fixed right there. I'm going to drag this keyframe to the start. And now let's see how it looks. All right. So it's looking, it's looking pretty good. And now we're going to repeat the same process, but with the shield. So let's go here where it says Coliseum Shield Simple 1. Click on the plus icon, go to Attach, New Binding, and let's search for Character Device 2. Click here where it says Mannequin, select Skeletal Mesh Component. And now we're going to look for the forearm. So let's click 4. And over here we have R as in right forearm or L as in left forearm. So in our case, we want the shield to be in the left forearm. So click here. Let's stretch this track so it fills the entire level sequence. And as it did before, the shield disappeared. So let's go here to the Coliseum shield. Click. Let's go to location and press here to reset the value. Something I forgot to mention is that when you attach objects, these values that you see here in location, those values are related to, in this case, for example, the bone this shield is attached to. So 0, 0, 0 would be the origin point, but not related to the world, but related to the bone is attached to. So 0, 0, 0 would be the left forearm. Now let's click here at a transform property. And now let's move around the shield just so it looks correctly positioned. All right, so let's see how it looks. Okay, so here it looks a little bit weird. Let's move it a little bit more. So now let's see how it looks. Perfect, as we did before, let's press here to save the position of the shield 
and let's move the keyframe to the start. There are some important things that you need to know. This object will only appear attached where you have this track on. So for example, if we were to shorten this, you will see that at some point the shield will disappear. It will no longer be attached and it will go to the world position is on. So if you're working with your animations and you see that the objects sometimes don't appear where they should be, it is maybe because you don't have the attach track where it should be. Another important thing that you need to know is that if you want these objects to only appear with your cinematics, you will need to hide them from players just so the objects are not apparently in the world. So for example, here, if I close sequencer, let me save real quick. And now let's close sequencer. As you see, the shield and sword disappeared, but they are actually over here in this part of the world. In UEFN, everything needs to be spawned at start. So if you're using many different objects only for cinematic purposes, you need to make sure that you know where these objects are just so players don't encounter them misplaced around when they are playing your game. So with sequencer closed, you can select these objects and move them around to a place where you know where they are and where they don't interrupt gameplay. And if we go back to our level sequence, we can see that the objects get attached again with no issues. And that's it. You just learned how to attach objects to your character devices. If you want to learn more about cinematics with UEFN, then you can check out my other tutorials in this channel. If you like this video, then a thumbs up would be highly appreciated. And if you like this type of content, then a sub to the channel would mean a lot to me. If you have suggestions for more tutorials or you have stuff that you want to learn how to make related to UEFN cinematics, then you can leave your suggestions in the comment section below. And that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.